Breaking news. See how Malami celebrates as court annuls section of electoral act barring political appointee from contesting. Hello, my wonderful people. It's, it's absurd. Nigerians are reacting left, right and center and asking, where is this country really headed? Where is the country really headed? Because um, the Attorney General of the Federation took, you know, took, um, took the, the Senate, okay, or the House of Rep, took them to court saying that they have no right not to expunge the section that Buhari has asked them to expunge. As a matter of fact, you know what? He did not even take them to the Federal High Court in, uh, in Abuja. You know where he took them to? He took them to, to the East, okay? He took them to the East. But the same Eastern Court has been talking about our very own brother, Nandi Kano, and they've not been obeying the courts. But this one, they are very quick to obey the court order. Welcome to Nigeria. Very quick. Malami is celebrating and Nigerians are reacting, asking, is this a real country or there is more we need to know? Is there something more we need to know because um, all that glitters is not good? These people are clearly showing to us that there is more to it. There is more to it, honestly speaking. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Malami celebrates as courts and no section of electoral act barring political appointee as Nigerians react. A federal high court in Omaha, Abia State, yesterday nullifies the controversial Section 84, subsection 12 of the Electoral Act 2022, barring political appointees from contesting election and ordering the Attorney General of the Federation. Barring political appointees from contesting elections, ordering the Attorney General of the Federation to delete it forthwith, saying it is unconstitutional, illegal, non and void. Barely few hours after the court's decision, the Attorney General of the Federation, Minister of Justice, issued a statement saying the federal government will immediately give effect to the judgment of the court. Nigerians have been asking the same court from the East that has never obeyed, that court order that has never been obeyed on the case of Nandi Kano. What about the money that the court ordered the federal government to pay Unandi Kano? And the question he asked on how Unandi Kano came from Kenya regarding his fundamental human rights. No immediate action or statement has come from the Attorney General. Nigeria is a deceit. President Muhammadu Buhari has recently signed the electoral bill into law with a converse section or section 84, subsection 12 asking the National Assembly to delete it in order to deepen democracy in the country. Last week, the Senate surprisingly threw a request, threw the request of the President out, telling him they would not amend it. However, dissatisfied, the Attorney General of the Federation, Minister of Justice Abuba Kamalami, disclosed that the federal government will expunge other means, including courts, to ensure that the said portion of the law, which is which he claimed offense or that section of the constitution was expunged from the electoral act true to his word he took the he took the national assembly to court delivering judgment on the matter yesterday justice evening of the federal high court of Mahia, uh, abia state heard that the section was unconstitutional invalid known and void N and of no effect whatsoever ought to be strike out as it cannot stand when it is violating the clear provision of the constitution the judge accordingly ordered the agf to forthwith delete the section 84 subsection 12 from the electoral act malami said his office will accordingly give effect to the court order in line with the dictates of the law and the spirit of judgment so Nigerians, the guy has been celebrating in no small way. In fact, he has been jubilating. He has been, he has been jumping. If you talk about jumping, the guy has been jumping. He has been, you know, he has been on high spirit. Why? Because they have succeeded in bending the hands of democracy. You see, when you see the very, uh, the very symbol of uh, justice, you see that justice is blind. It is because it's supposed to be a symbol that signifies that nobody is above the law. If the president was found guilty, he should be dealt with to the full route of the law. But guess what in Nigeria? They go scot-free. You heard me. Malami, for instance, is one of the most controversial attorney general we've ever gotten in the nation of Nigeria, especially since the inception of independence, 1960. 
this guy has disgraced Nigeria, Nigerians in no small way. Imagine an attorney general being involved in all forms of words being said, in all forms of atrocities, mixture of something that is not right. That is the attorney general of the Federation for you. His hands are involved, you know, in, if there's anything shady, if there's anybody being, you know, deceitfully hidden, trying to be hidden from the law, where, there you go. The attorney general's name is found somewhere, somewhere hidden in it. Look at what happened to our very own sister, Mary Odile. The attorney general, it was, I mean, we brought you up to speed just yesterday that the NBA, that is Nigerian um, Bar Association, they have carried out their investigations. And guess what? It was found out that the attorney general did send the people or he was involved with the people somehow. His hands were all over that very, and they are calling out for, you know, persecution. They are pressing charges. Because that's what he did. He came in in 2015, and guess what? Everybody and anybody who has a higher position, uh, you know, judge that have been there for a long time that could potentially sit and give judgment into situation reports, electoral acts, and the rest. Guess what they did? They framed them up, almost every one of them, and sidelined them so that their mouths are, are quiet. And that was what he wanted to do to Mary Odile, but luck ran out on him. When you look at this nation, you will be worried, honestly, sincerely worried at the things going on. Your heart will skip if really, sincerely speaking, we are in the right place. Because as a nation, as a people, the things that are going on shows to us, clearly speaking, that there is something wrong. Somebody somewhere is hiding something. Or we know the truth. We are just living, in, living a deceit, a lie. We're just living a deceit and a lie. How can you tell me, okay, that, you know, some people go scot-free with the same crime while some other people are held, you know, responsible? Is it not the right thing that anybody who wants to contest, if you really want to contest and you're saying this is your lifelong ambition and duty, that you resign from the position? So you use the influence of that office, you use the finances from that office because in Nigeria there is no accountability, there is no audit, nobody notes or take you know, record of what happened, how any expenditure in any ministry is done, what the president does, he does. I mean, there is no, there is no eye on any of these things. And so they do and undo and get scot free. And then Nigeria is left hang and drying. What a nation. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.